Hey everybody. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to be showing you a very cool look you can get in uh, both um, ZBrush and Maya. And uh, I'm just going to open up my Bobby Fisher model. I'm just going to be doing a test on him. It's a fairly basic model. So uh, what I want to do for simplistic reasons, um, I'm just going to hide his hair uh, so you can kind of see the effect a little better. I don't want it to be a too complicated so I'm just gonna go into my materials and select the white cavity matte cap uh, shader and I'm going to just uh, use subtool master and I, I want to fill um, the objects with uh, well with the material um, yeah all right so it worked there we go and um, I want to change the colors of the background and the character. Um, I'm just going to do like a teal or something bright for the background. There we go. And uh, something like a orange or gold color for the uh, the model. So maybe that'll you no, know, because we are going for sort of a cartoon look. So. Yeah. Now, under texture, I um I put a link for the texture files that I'm going to be using, and where you want to put them is in the C drive and in program files, and under Pixie Logic and ZBrush, and it's the Z export import folder, and I just I put all of them there, so that's where you want them, and they should be in the video description. Um, and just go to texture and import and it sends me right to them which is nice and I think I used something like this one 2701 there's a lot of them to choose from but you can experiment and see which one you like the best and I'm just going under my material and um, click on this thing and this pops up and just go ahead and select the tune shader and <laughs> that's pretty much it and you, um, you'll want to adjust the intensity settings. And right now, there, there's a cavity that's kind of intense. You probably want to turn that down if you're going for a cartoon look. Um, I'm just going to load up uh, one that I've already uh, tweaked. But um, and you can also change the depth and everything, give it a different sort of look. Um, so I'm just going to uh, load up the one that I. I uh, customized it. I was pretty happy with it. So, yeah, it didn't take too long to um, tweak the settings. And I'll just show you how you can uh, kind of get a nice render using this. Um, if you go under the render settings, uh, BPR shadow, um, I like the uh, V depth at 10 and the L depth at uh, 10, negative 10, sorry anti-aliasing, I turn that up to 2, and let's just see what we get. Alright, see, so nice clean lines. Um, shadows are looking pretty good, too. So, that's just, I thought that was pretty cool. I think that's a, a good way to get a um, cartoon shader in um, ZBrush. I mean, obviously, I'd want to use this for a more cartoony character. This is a fairly realistic model, so... Um, yeah, I, I like the way that the, the, the lines look on this. So. Now I'm going to show you in uh, Maya uh, how you can do a similar effect using the uh, Tune shader. And that's under, um, it, it should come with uh, Maya 2012. It's in the um, tool palette. Uh, just go to Tune. And I'm just selecting all my geometry. I'm going uh, to uh, click Add New Outline, which is uh, that one circle with the plus sign right up there. And you can already see it's added a line uh, to this, which is pretty nice. I'm just going to select all my geometry again, and I'm going to click on this brightness shader. It's the third one. And uh, yeah, there's a few. I guess it's a little more complicated than in ZBrush to uh, get the effect that you want, but um, I'll do my best to demonstrate it. Let's see. 
Uh, where is it? Hold on. Is that over? Okay, brightness shader. There we go. Um, so by default, uh, it's assigned a ramp shader, and you can move these sliders around, and basically they affect the way that the shadows are going to hit. So there we go. Right now there's uh, two tones. Um, I kind of want to have three, three tones. So I also want to change the um, well the background color so I can see my lines a little better. And I'm just going to camera attribute editor. I'll just choose something bright like, like I did in the uh, NZ brush. So there we go. And what else? Okay. And maybe I'll just um, add a color. Uh, some colors to the ramp shader. Uh, let's see. Just select um, select the bar to change it, basically. And I'll, I'll do something like goldish brown or something. And then you, if you click on the bar, you can create a new value, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to click on that, uh, change it to a darker color. And for the most part, I'm not going to even do any interpolation, we'll just smooth it out and kind of already have the effect uh, that I want basically with um, with this, so um, yeah, just leave that at zero, the selected position uh, basically it's good like that I'm like I don't think I'm gonna touch anything else actually. You could try, you know, a specularity, but yeah. Um, let's, let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna tweak the lines. I'm gonna select uh, show insertion lines there. And you, what it does is basically, if there's uh, two pieces of geometry, it'll it'll create a line automatically if they're inserting each other. Uh, well, it's really thick. <laughs> you can you can uh, increase or decrease um, how th the line thickness, which is nice. I'll leave it fairly low, around one or something. I think it seems to be pretty good. Uh, maybe a little higher. I don't know. <laughs> you can experiment. Um, let's see. And I want to buff up the uh, profile line width. And I want to turn down the crease line width a little bit. And the border line width I'll turn down just a tad. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably good. Um, probably in turn up the insertion line width quite a bit, like I was saying. And what else? I'm just going to go into my render settings and I'm going to. Uh, well, first off, I want to go to um, highest quality under anti aliasing. And I want to do production quality. And I'm going to turn under common to. Uh, I want to render in uh, HD 720, so that's that's all I need from there. And I want to show. Uh, what am I doing? Where is it? Where's the resolution gate? I'm trying to. Um, so I know where I'm rendering. You know. Uh, now it's not here. Oh right, camera camera settings. Yes, there we go. Resolution gate. All right. And let's see what kind of look we get. All right. So already, you know, we're starting to um starting to get a cool uh, 2D look. See, there's three tones going on here. Uh, I definitely would want to smooth out the geometry if I was rendering this. Uh, that'll give me smoother lines. So, I also want to thicken up the lines a little bit. 
So I'm just going to run a smooth on this uh, mesh here. Okay. And just beef up the line width a little bit. Turn that up. Um, turn up um, the profile line width. And I'm just going to turn up the, um, the main line width too. You can also, uh, the line end thinning gives it kind of a stylized look. If, and turn up the line width a little more. All right. So yeah, um, I think I think you get the idea. You know, give you hope this gives you guys an idea to, uh, you know, where you where you would go with uh, the shader, and. Uh, yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my video. Um, I might be uploading more about this kind of stuff, like materials and rendering. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching.